Welcome to Bangalore International Airport, the gateway to South India. Open to international air traffic, in 2008 the airport now has over 350 movements every day. Nearly 38,000 passengers pass through the terminal. An average of 61,000 tons of cargo is transported daily. Given this scenario, the challenge is to maintain a safe balance between growing capacity demands and matching infrastructure and resources. Surely you have gone through the handout provided by the safety department on the three-lane taxiway system. This audiovisual is to further familiarize you with the operations of the three-lane taxiway system at Bangalore International Airport. To enhance capacity on the apron, a unique three-lane taxi system is followed at Bengaluru International Airport, the first airport in the country to adopt the internationally proven system. Very few airports in the world follow this system, to name a few, Stansted London, Charles de Gaulle Paris and Munich International Airport. The three-lane taxi system at BIAL has the approval of the DGCA. To understand the three-lane taxi system, let us take a close look at the BIL airside. The landing of the aircraft could either be from east or west, that is runway 09 or runway 27. On landing, the aircraft exit on the taxiway and then enter the apron area from either hotel or delta taxiways. It is here that things look a little different at BIAL. The signboard, Caution 3 Lanes, welcomes you to taxi lanes Lima 1, Lima 2 and Lima 3. You can see the trifurcation once you complete taxiing on the hotel or Delta taxiway while arriving. Lima 1 and Lima 3 are marked by broken yellow lines and these are the parts dedicated to narrow-body aircraft or aircraft with a wingspan of less than 36 meters. And the central continuous line is Lima 2, which is dedicated to wide-bodied aircraft or those which have a wingspan of over 36 meters. All markings are clearly drawn as per ICAO and ACI standards. Lima 1 takes you to the parking bay facing the runway, that is north. While Lima 3 directs you to the sudden parking stands. Lima 2 passes through the center and aircraft taxiing on that can park on either north or south stands depending on the parking allocation made by the ATC. Lima 2 can be used when no aircraft is on Lima 1 or Lima 3. Lima 1 and Lima 3 are designed to be used simultaneously by aircrafts with wingspan of less than 36 meter.
They can even cross in opposite directions without impinging the minimum required safety separations as defined in the DGCA CAR and the ICAO Annex 14. All stands are provided with stand identification signs and simple lead in lines. All stands at the apron are bar in and push back. Bar out is not permitted. All the lanes are painted with embedded high index glass beads of reflective index 1.9 mu for providing better visibility. This ensures high visibility at all times, day or night, fog or rain. Now, let's take a look at how it works. Imagine you are flying a narrow-bodied aircraft. As you enter Delta or Hotel, the ATC would direct you to taxi on either Lima 1 or Lima 3, depending on the stand allocated to you. Follow the broken lines along the marking. Say you have been allocated stand 25. Follow Lima 3. Taxing via Lima 3 to stand 25. On stand number 25, switching off. Good day. While entering the stand, care should be taken not to follow the continuous line as this would lead to a different stand which is designated to a wide body aircraft. All parking stands are of mass type, multiple aircraft ramp system and can accommodate either two narrow bodied aircraft or one wide bodied aircraft. There may be a situation where you are asked to follow Lima 1 for the southern stands and Lima 3 for the northern stands. This may be required to facilitate expeditious movement of aircraft. In such cases, lane change can be done only with the help of follow me services for taxiing into the stand. Follow, follow me to change line from Lima 1 to Lima 3. Lima 1, Lima 3, stand 1 5. Following, follow me service. But what about when you are flying a wide bodied aircraft? The process remains the same. As you enter hotel or delta, ATC will inform you the stand allocated. Only in this case, you take Lima 2, the line which has continuous markings. All you have to do is follow the continuous lines. At no point you should follow the broken lines as this will lead you to a different stand and result in reduced separation. It is also important that you exercise caution when maneuvering on the apron due to the proximity of other aircraft, ground staff and equipment. Engine power should be restricted to the minimum required to reduce the adverse effect of jet blast. So. How does this optimize apron management? The three-lane taxi system at Bangalore Airport provides more than double the capacity in a given apron area without additional delays and costs. 
It is therefore not only saving money but also time for our end users, the airlines and the passengers. The system is also designed to enable a smooth taxi out. On the departure, once the aircraft is pushed back, narrow-bodied aircraft taxi out simultaneously on taxi lane Lima 1 and Lima 3 for proceeding via taxiway Delta or hotel. Aircraft proceeding via Delta shall hold short of stand 81 and 15 respectively to check with the ATC for sequence. Similarly, while taxiing via hotel, hold short of stand 69 and 28 respectively to check with the ATC for sequence. On crossing the hotel or Delta designation marking on the ground, the taxi lane Lima 3 or Lima 1 turns right or left onto hotel or delta. The whole process has been designed to ensure quick turnaround of aircraft and at the same time ensuring safety to the aircraft, equipment on ground and personnel. As this is a unique system, you should be fully familiarized before operating from Bangalore International Airport. We want you to be more cautious about the following. You may taxi on Lima 2 instead of Lima 1 or Lima 3. You may taxi on Lima 1 instead of Lima 3 and vice versa. While entering or exiting the apron, make sure you take the correct direction as per ATC instruction. You may turn from one taxi lane to the other without follow me assistance. You could turn or dock in the wrong stand. It is possible that you may overshoot the allocated stand. You may enter a wrong taxiway itself or cross or miss the allocated taxiway. Though all these can happen under normal markings and at any airport, extra care is always beneficial. Otherwise, it could be hazardous. But there can be no excuses. When in doubt, stop the aircraft and ask for assistance on RT rather than maneuvering the aircraft on your own. As the air traffic increases, it becomes imperative to maximize available resources. At the same time, we must ensure high levels of safety. The three-lane taxiway at Bengaluru International Airport is just a step ahead in that direction. An efficient, safe and convenient way to help the smooth flow of air traffic, fulfilling all ICAO and DGCA standards. I would like to give you my point of view about the three-lane taxi operation here at Bangalore. I'm the safety officer of uh, Zurich Airport, Switzerland, and I'm very interested in this three-lane taxi operation here at Bangalore. It's a benefit for you as a pilot because you don't have to stop. You are quite fast at your gate or at the parking position. But we need your concentration, we need your help to make it smooth and safe and efficient. So prepare yourself well before start taxing here at Bangalore. I know that uh, you are tired sometimes after a long whole flight or even after the third or fourth leg. But always remember, accidents and incidents they're not only happening in the air, they're also happening here on the ground. So always make sure that you are well prepared and if you have any questions, you always can ask ADC. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact BL's Aviation Safety Department. Be known that your movement is being monitored by the safe eyes of Follow Me, SMC radar, CCTV cameras, safety staff and other ground staff. One error may cause an incident or an accident. Your understanding of the system can make the airport safer and convenient to operate.
and it is for us to follow the rules laid down. For ultimately, we are also the stakeholders in the aviation industry. What benefits all shall benefit us too.